practice day for the Memphis Tigers on Saturday morning, and they'll get ready for the championship tomorrow against UAB at 1 o'clock. Head coach Darren Schoenrock, just a light workout today. Uh, didn't get to uh, overdo it or anything. Just want to get them out running around the day before the title game. Yeah, I think it's important to kind of stay in the routine, and, and uh, we've, done, we've done this uh, before we're up here, and, and, and we're very appreciative of this high school letting us come here. But uh, it's kind of a uh, get them out of the hotel, break a little sweat, get some fundamental work in. Uh, and I wanted to kind of put to bed uh, the game with Houston, and because you know, if three weeks ago or four weeks ago, you tell the team you got one shot to play for a title, I think everybody would have taken it. And so it, it's important that we focus just on one day. You and the Blades are very familiar with each other. It'll be the eighth time you've played in the last two years. You're good friends of Brian Shoup. You've coached under him at Birmingham Southern. Both of you are part of the Ron Polk uh, coaching tree. Coach Polk will be in the other dugout, the assistant for Brian Shoup. Uh, it's going to be a pretty big battle because uh, the coaching staffs know each other and the players know each other very well. He's a he's a very good championship coach. He's got championship experience a lot of years in these title games at Birmingham Southern. Uh, I was a part of uh, four four of those title games I think in tournaments. So uh, it'll be he'll, he'll he'll have his arsenal ready. Uh, it's just going to come down to who can who can be the most routine club, who can win pitches, who can make routine plays, and who pounds the strike zone. Chase Joyner, uh, your Sunday afternoon starter, will throw on a Sunday for the championship game. Yeah, Chase is uh, is is the one guy that I would you know I'm excited about seeing him in this moment, and, and uh, you know a fifth year senior, uh, a lot on the table. He, he's he's pitched some Sunday games in, in in series where we had opportunities to get sweeps, which is difficult, and he's come through in, in big fashion. So. Uh, we, the team will feel real good about Chase. He'll be ready to go. At the position you're in this year with this late run is almost like a wild card team in Major League Baseball. Every game has been big, so this being a big game, a championship game, uh, nothing new to this team over the last five weeks. We've had games where we had to sweep. You had to win a series. You had to win a midweek game. So the pressure of this situation, nothing new for this team. Yeah, we'll, we'll kind of fall on the leadership of, of Jacob and Adam and Eli and TJ and, and you know, the upperclassmen. Uh, and, and, it's, and it's awesome that we got Chase going to the mound. So the leadership and, and what that dugout will become and, and what the mindset of the team will be, we'll, we'll follow the lead of those, of those upperclassmen. Should have some Tiger fans. Uh, got a lot of emails, a lot of tweets uh, during the last couple of ball games. Once you clinch Sunday and uh, an easy drive, three hours down, you can leave at 9 o'clock or so tomorrow morning and you can be back by 8 o'clock tomorrow night. Yeah, I'm excited about what we, what we can have. And the, the venue is tremendous. It's been a very well-run tournament. Uh, I think our, our fans that make the trip will really enjoy the ballpark and, and enjoy a great game. going to be very hot. Uh, it's going to be an all-out battle. Coach, thanks a lot. Just one more. Thanks, Jeff. Head coach Darren Schoenrock. I'm Jeff Brightwell on Memphis Tiger Vision.